Hey guys, I'm obsessed with coconuts. They're super sweet and I just am like devouring the meat. I love it. So as you saw in the title, I'm going to stop doing YouTube videos for a short while and I will share why at the end of this video. It's just been such a beautiful day, honestly, of so much inspiration. And, and so I took this opportunity to share with you guys uh, what I've learned in 2016. For 2017, a lot of us have resolutions, we have dreams, we, want, we have things that we want to accomplish. And it's this really nice feeling that's all around of like renewal and rebirth. And it's perfect for people who want to start a vegan diet, a vegan lifestyle, who want to start eating healthier and lose weight. There's things that we want to accomplish. So 2016, there were definitely times when I did feel lonely. And at the same time, there were things going on in my personal life that I didn't share because uh, it just didn't, it just, it didn't involve just me and involved other people. I went through some pretty hard moments emotionally. One thing that really helped me was going to spiritual psychology, the University of Santa Monica, because once a month I got to go to a place where I could spill my heart out, cry, and, <laughs> and it was really, really healing. And it's just, it, it amazes me how God just puts everything at the right moment, at the right time, the right people at the right time, when, I, when, when you most need them, things started to get better. <laughs> I, I noticed that I was really looking at my life through a lens of, of sadness, of negativity, wanting, needing. I realized that we can go through life with a lens on. And the way that we see ourselves, the way that we see life, it, it's, it's, it's all going to reflect it's all going to be based on that lens. Once I started to change my lens and started to see uh, all the hard times that I was living as an opportunity to grow, to learn, to mature, I, I began to, 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 to lower, to learn, to grow, to mature. And I began to be grateful, to really, really, really be grateful and focus on the good things, not focus on the bad things, because it's super easy to focus on what we don't have, to focus on what we need, and it can be hard to shift and focus on gratitude, to be grateful for what we already have and live in gratitude. And so that's what I began to, to see. I began to relate to the issue in a different way because how you relate to the issue is the issue, which is something that I learned in spiritual psychology. And it took me a while to understand that. So the other day I was at a friend's birthday and everyone was like, oh, are you vegan? Oh, are you vegetarian? Oh, are you raw? Or how much, uh, how, what percentage do you eat? And it's like, I constantly get this question, of course, like, are you vegan? Are you vegetarian? Are you raw? What are you? And you know what? I'm not vegan. I'm not raw vegan, I'm not vegetarian, I'm love, I am grateful. I am grateful that today I can decide what to eat. I, I'm grateful that I have food <laughs> because there's so many people out there that don't even have that, that don't even have something to eat. And I am so grateful that I can decide to eat plant-based, that I can decide to lead a vegan lifestyle to the best of my abilities. Why? Because it's good for my health, it's good for the planet, I care about my planet, I care about the place that I live in, and I care about other living beings, animals, because I do believe that the way animals are killed for food is a crime. And all of these things that I, I, I understand, I believe, I feel in my heart. I, I'm grateful that I have the decision to do that. And I'm even more grateful that I can share it with the world. <laughs> so there's so many, I mean, based on that, I have my family, I have love, I have friends, I have a home, I have a bed. There's so many things to be grateful for. And, and it just shifts the, the energy of like, what can I get? from the world? What can I get from this person? What can I get from the situation? I need, I want, I, it turns it into what can I give? What can I give to the world? What can I give 
to to someone in what way can i benefit and and i see like wow like like i always ask myself like god like why did you bless me so much like like there's a reason for it and i and and the, what i what i what i get is i i'm blessing you so that you can be a blessing to others i feel that that's why i'm here in this world and that's what gets me up every single morning is like how can i be a blessing to someone else it's really beautiful because it's suddenly I start doing things with a purpose. Beginning four years ago when I first started this journey, uh, those were some of the questions that I was asking myself. What is my purpose here? I can try to find try to find happiness in, in things that are external, but if but it's never gonna be enough. And I'm never gonna be happy. So when I am grateful, when I see all the blessings that I have and I and I I I just live a more joyful, happy life. And <laughs> and that's what I wanted to share. That's what I basically learned, along with a lot of other things. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to say is that, you know what? I'm not Ravana either. I'm Yovana. And I think that Ravana is, for me, it, it stands for a lifestyle. Ravana is eating plant-based, exercising, uh, trying to be a better version of myself, working on myself spiritually, beauty on the outwards as well from the inside. It's all these things that I even try to be <laughs> every single day. You know, one time I told my dad, I'm like, heck, I want to be Ravana. Like I try to be Ravana. And, and, it's, and it's true. I feel like over time, um, you guys and, and I, we've all created this lifestyle this new way of living that's what i've learned uh, throughout these years uh, life that i was living before i now know a new way to live and it's so amazing i am just a contributor to to ravana because ravana is not just it's not just me it's all of us and it wouldn't be the same without you anyways i'm not going to be doing videos for two to three weeks because i'm working on my new ebook and I really need to like finish this. I want to finish this. I want to, not that I need to, I want to. I'm going to be focusing on it more. I'm still going to be super active on Instagram, my stories, Snapchat. So you guys can see me there, see what I'm up to there, see all the updates there. And I'm super, super, super excited <laughs> for this uh, ebook to come together. It's going to be a four week guide. Over the years in my YouTube channel, I always do challenges. I do raw vegan, vegan challenges. And basically what I try to do is that I try to emulate what I lived right at the beginning for someone who's barely starting off or, who, or someone who just wants to refresh or renew. I also have two apps that you guys can download. Uh, so you guys can have it handy in your phone and I have tons of recipes there I'll leave the links to all of that below as well and now I'm making it into a guide I'm making it into a four-week guide where you're gonna have daily meal plans what I eat in a day every single day for four day for four weeks along with uh, my story what I've learned resources so and it's it's accumulation basically of these four years and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. And also coming out with a new website. You can subscribe to it now if you want. It's ravana.com. So stay tuned for the new website. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, I get chills just thinking about it. And there's so many other exciting things uh, coming very, very, very soon. Really cannot wait to share it with all of you. That's basically what I wanted to say to today. I wanted to say, uh, happy New Year. <laughs> Cliche, right? <laughs> Seriously, um, this let let this 2017 be a year uh, of of refreshing, of renewing, of rebirth, of learning, of growth, of maturing, of living, and of being grateful. At least that's for me, <laughs> and I wish that to all of you too all the happiness send you guys all the my blessings and my love and and everything i love you guys and like this video if you guys can't wait for my ebook too and comment below uh what your resolutions are for this coming year I'll see you in 2017 bye guys